College basketball fans are in for a big weekend as about 100 women's and men's teams are playing today or tomorrow to try to make it to next week's NCAA tournament. They don't call it March Madness for and nothing. So even here in Southwest Florida, the FGCU women's basketball team expects a large and loud crowd tomorrow night in Fort Myers. Fox 4's Chris Earle has been covering the historic Eagle season so far and takes a look at what's ahead of tomorrow. Hey, Chris. Hey, good evening, Nadine. The FGCU women have won at least 30 games most seasons going back for about the past decade. And the Eagles have won 31. They've only lost three this year. They're ranked 23rd in the nation, but still they have a must-win game tomorrow night at Aliko Arena against Liberty, and here's why. They play in the A-Sun, a conference that's still a smaller conference, a mid-major, and they'll probably only send one team to the tournament, so whoever wins this gets the automatic bid. Even though FGC was won the regular season nearly every year for the past decade, they still have to win tomorrow to guarantee they're back in the NCAA bracket. The Eagles advance to the A-Sun finals after two dominating defensive performances performances over the past week, an 18-point win on Sunday over Stetson, and then Wednesday's 51-34 win over Austin P in the semifinals. Now they're up against Liberty, the team that handed them their last loss 14 games ago. And here's what you need to know if you got to get that basketball fixed tomorrow night. 7 p.m. start at Alico Arena on the FGCU campus. And we've covered their base of support all throughout the season, often older fans who moved to Southwest Florida from elsewhere, but they love basketball and they love this team. So we'll have a little bit of fun. We'll peek ahead to the next week. So let's assume the Eagles win tomorrow night. Right now, ESPN's Bracketology, that's a group that projects the NCAA tournament brackets, has FGCU as an 11 seed for the women's tournament and projecting they would meet six seed Michigan. Again, it's fun to look ahead, but the Eagles first have to take care of that title business tomorrow night at Alico again, 7 p.m. for the tip.